This week, I came across the ultimate job post. And for a while, I let myself dream. Hi everybody, I'm Brune Smith, an indie podcaster looking to bring her storytelling skills to a podcast production team. This is Podcasting Job, an eight-week limited series where I take you behind the scenes of my job search in real time. Welcome to week three. Today, I want to walk you through a job post I found over at podnews.net. Highly recommend that website that made my heart go, yes. And I'm going to share my real-time reactions and comments in this voice. If you're a self-taught producer like me, who's looking to work for professionalized podcasts, this great example will clue you in on the structure of work in podcast production, the exact responsibilities you might be asked to take on, and the kind of experience they might be asking for. And who knows, maybe this job is perfect for you right now, and you'll apply. Because I can't. Still worth dreaming about it, though. I'll explain. Here we go. On the list of jobs, this one was titled Story Editor Wondery. The famous podcast studio, home to podcasts such as This Is Actually Happening, Bad Dates with Jamila Jamil, or The Daily Stoic. And then it said, Remote Working with a USA-based team. Similar job posts I'd seen that said exactly that were upfront about only hiring people who are living in the US. If you listened to previous episodes, you know that I'm a French citizen newly based in Brussels after five years in Canada, and that I have this weird inkling that I am to work for both sides of the Atlantic. But this one just said remote, so I clicked on it. It opened a page. The post is divided into three parts, job summary, key responsibilities, and required qualifications. Part one, job summary. Story editor. I could say that all day. Story editor, story editor, story editor. Posted March 25th, expires April 15th. It's still time to apply. Full-time six-month contract position with the possibility to extend. That's how the industry seems to be structured. That's what I'm learning. While there are some rare positions where you get to stay on a team, podcast production is very much project-based. You work on a season or a series, and then you move on to another contract. Salary up to $7,200 a month, subject to experience and skill set. This position does not provide health, retirement, or pension benefits. Definitely to be taken into account. Wondery is hiring for a story editor for Scamfluencers, a weekly nonfiction narrative podcast. My favorite kind and the kind of podcast I'd love to work on. I don't know that specific one. I'll have to take a listen. That's something I like about my search. I get to discover a lot of what's out there. We're looking for an experienced storyteller. Like someone who told stories on stage, on the page, and on her podcasts. Who can navigate drama and humor. I can do that. Tell stories in a conversational and emotionally engaging way. Now that is my jam. And maintain the facts of the story within Wondery's narrative style. I always love how constraints enhance creativity. In this role, you will provide detailed edits and notes to writers, my favorite thing on earth, and work closely with the producers and hosts. Yes, please, I'm tired of working by myself. Part two, key responsibilities. Contribute editorial judgment on episode pitches, love, provide detailed notes and guidance for writers on episode outlines and scripts across several drafts, wonderful, work directly with the hosts on the scripts, so good, help writers develop detailed outlines and beat sheets, love a good beat sheet, for episodes using a three-act structure, like the structure I used in episode two titled A Producer's Origin Story. Shameless plug. Edit long-form scripts, providing both top-line notes and specific line edits slash revisions. 
Well, I've been doing that for fiction and nonfiction writers on their developing manuscripts. So far, I feel I have more experience giving notes on short true stories for the stage, which I've done around 65 times. So maybe a bit of a learning curve. Work with the senior producer, producer and writer to meet delivery deadlines. Communicate with writers and hosts regarding deadlines and deliverables. I can see myself in any of those positions, like writer, reporter, producer, assistant producer, story editor, fact checker, and host. I just love the idea of having a specific role and then collaborating with others to make the show come together. Analyze research from our AP and rewrite scripts as needed. I love that. Incorporate changes to the script after the fact check review. Edit, revise, and prep final delivered scripts for recording session. Love a good finalized script. Attend all table reads and provide feedback. Like at SNL, but not really. Sit in on tracking sessions for assigned episodes when possible to assist with any last minute changes or questions from the hosts. Participating in the developing process of an episode from beginning to end is just so thrilling to me. And finally, organize and update script and writer folders on Google Drive. Of course. Part 3. Required and Preferred Qualifications So first, required qualifications. Strong editorial judgment, been editing people's stories for four years, journalistic rigor, I don't come from a journalistic background, but I love a good learning curve, and compelling storytelling skills. Get those. Proven ability to edit long-form scripts or stories at a consistently high level. That might be where I'd love to get a bit more experience. Strong writing skills. I've been facilitating writing sessions for a US-based writing center for the last 18 months. Relevant experience in narrative storytelling, preferably in audio. Perfect. Thoughtful and direct communication style. Had to learn that when giving feedback to people about vulnerable lived experiences. Ability to match the show's target tone and style and ensure consistency across episodes. Ability and enthusiasm for working on a collaborative and diverse team. Love. At least four years of story editing experience in a fast-paced media environment. Darn, I've only produced three podcasts of my own. But wait, isn't that where dudes apply and women don't? All right. And now preferred qualifications is just a couple of things. Experience working on weekly long-form scripted audio shows. I gotta start somewhere. A background in journalism, a bachelor's degree preferred, but not required. Ah, okay, there we go. To apply, please fill out this form. We'd love to hear about your superpowers and your most relevant work experiences. Please include a link to your portfolio in your resume. That's when I clicked on the Google Doc and saw we are a remote team and open to applicants of all backgrounds from across the United States, where I don't reside. But this is as close a job description to my dream job as it gets. So even if this one might not be for me at this time, sitting with this job post helped me ground myself in my skills and straighten up my portfolio so I can apply to similar roles in production companies that will hire a Brussels-based contractor. To be continued. Thank you for listening. I hope you got something out of it. Before you go, I would like to kindly ask for your contribution. If you have any piece of advice for me or know anyone in the podcasting industry I could reach out to for help, please email me at brunesmith at substack.com. That's B-R-U-N-E-S-M-I-T-H at substack.com. Don't forget to subscribe or follow the podcast wherever you're listening so you don't miss an episode. If you have friends who are creative thinkers of any kind, please share this episode on your socials. It might be of interest to them. Lastly, next time you're on the subway or in line at the grocery store, please think of me and leave a review of this podcast on Apple Podcasts so that others can discover it as well. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time.